Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I've cooked a turkey many different ways. I've baked it, I've deep fried it, I've smoked it, but I have never cooked it over a campfire. I've spent most of my morning trying to get a fire going with slightly damp wood because it rained last night. Is that almost ready to be <laughs> put on? Um, yeah. What? Nothing. Happy Thanksgiving. As I was saying, we're gonna try cooking turkey over a campfire today. Couple reasons. One, because cooking over a fire. Two, the turkey won't fit in the oven in the RV. And three, just wanted to try something new. It's a little bit of an adventure in learning to cook things differently. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just know that he cooks meat. This is the setup. Obviously this turkey is gonna get well smoked, which is, which is good. I've got a pan up here, and hopefully that'll, that'll settle down on the top of the, the chains there. And hopefully that'll keep some heat on top of the turkey too, as it's cooking. But I'm getting ready to throw the turkey on, and uh, then we'll see how this goes. I'm pretty excited to see what happens over the next five, six, seven hours. Time has come to flip the bird for the first time. It's looking kind of crispy on the bottom, actually, so um, I'm gonna have to figure out how to do this. I have two sets of tongs. This is gonna be interesting, but first, I'm going to pour some melted butter over the breast and the legs to make sure that skin gets nice and crispy. <laughs> So there's a bit of a unintended consequence there. As you saw, when I flipped it over, there was a lot of moisture inside the cavity, which dumped all over the fire and extinguished a little bit. Not too terrible, but wish that didn't happen. <laughs> it's definitely not as burnt and crispy as I thought it might be after an hour. So I think we're doing good with temperature and level of the of the grill. So I think I'm going to move it. I'm going to try and stoke the fire up a little bit, but I may move it down just a little bit since we're now 
cooking the breast meat. So far, it's going pretty good. Pretty excited for campfire turkey. All right, so I just went to flip it again. And one thing that I learned is that I need to get my clip points of my chains spaced a little more evenly because when I moved the turkey a little bit out of center and came this way, the whole grill flipped out of the way. And I may or may not have dropped the turkey in the fire, but I was able to recover quickly and it's now back on the grill and uh, I think we're none the worse for wear. We're three hours in and it's looking pretty good. I can get a little piece of this off without uh, upsetting the apple cart again. Oh yeah. That's gonna be good. Yeah, that's gonna be good. All right, well, I'm gonna try not to drop it in the fire anymore. All right, it's getting dark. It's tough to see, but this is about ready to pull off. And it's looking good. What do you think, Moose? Take it inside into better light, but I gotta tell you, this thing looks really good. Hopefully, it's not super dry. Well, there it is campfire turkey. It's not burned, that is from the smoke. Can't wait to carve it. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this amazing meal that Spencer cooked all day. Thank you for blessing our family. Thank you for blessing all of our friends and, and loved ones. And thank you for getting finest turkey for us. <laughs> we are extremely grateful for everything that you provide for us, the ways that you continue to take care of us and this journey that we're on. We are, are truly grateful for our family, for the love, for the support, and, and we're thankful we're able to share that with others. Um, please keep